Round 3 in the Israeli Cup. Hello everyone and welcome back. How are you today? My name is Nitzan Steinberg, Grandmaster and today we will see a very interesting game. Me in white pieces against international master, very talented, very strong Yoav Milikau from Kfar Saba club. You know, this club, you know, develops a lot of talented guys and you know, they are playing just amazing. So let's see this game and before I start, I must th thank you all for watching and subscribing and like the video. It really, really helped me and you know, like giving me the the motivation that i need to do it another time so i must admit this is the second time that i'm doing this video because you know the first one i finished already the video but my microphone was not working so i'm doing it the the next time you know the second time in a row <sighs> it will be tough. Let's do it. Come on. Okay, so we are seeing the game. E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight F6, Knight X, E5, D6, Knight F3. This is the Petrov opening, also called the Russian opening. And so much game, so much players. You know, the best players in the world while playing with the black pieces wants to play this opening because, you know, it's very drawish, you know, very equalizing. Um, yeah, it's good. I I'm, I'm, must tell you guys don't play it if you are you know like beginners because you know It's not so simple to play uh, with the black pieces because you know It's very symmetrical and you know, I want you to play you know Sicilian Spanish it Italian of course Karakan French maybe but Petrov in the beginning big no so d3 I played with d3, of, of course also d4, this is the main line, d5, bishop d3, bishop d6, castle, castle, c4, c6, knight c3, also rook e1 is, uh, is playable of course. Uh, in this position after d4, yeah, so much, uh, so much moves here, also knight c6 there are, bishop e7 or bishop g4. So much theory, so much games, you can uh, see it and analyzing. Also, knight c3, very common in the last uh, in, in the last games. Bishop e3, castle, queen d2, castle long, bishop d3, h4. He's playing knight d7, knight f6, bishop e6. Very, very interesting, uh, of course. So I played with d3. My my point was, you know, like, you, you're playing with the black pieces, you're playing Petrov. Okay, so the psychological situation that you are, um, uh, you know, like, uh, staying on is, okay, we, we want to do, do a draw. But now, after d4, if you're playing with d5, you know, it will be symmetrical and psychological uh, uh, view you must do the draw you are thinking only for a draw and it's really really good for me because you know I will play like a lot and so much you know like end game and you will need the draw and it's good for me because when we are playing for a draw it's it's not the way to play chess so let's see so we play the move g6 also very good game a good move of course bishop d3 bishop g7 castle castle h3 just avoiding from bishop to g4 and now c5 is playing uh, the main line here uh, c3 was a mistake by me no, no not a mistake i think in ac accuracy um, but because knight c3 was better knight c6 bishop e3 and i want to play queen d2 rook f1 rook a d1 and you know like to to develop all the pieces and play very simple chess but i played the move c3 i wanted um, to know to cover this pawn on d4 so knight c6 and i will play the move bishop c2 my point just that after c takes d4 knight takes knight takes queen takes d4 and you know this pawn will be weak and we will see it in the next uh, moves so he played the move bishop to e6 i think b5 was a, a better better move for him he will play the move bishop b7 rook e8 you know knight d5 maybe black is totally fine i think already maybe a better position but he played the move bishop to e6 bishop b3 also here i think c4 was a clever as uh, um, uh, you know like solution for him because after bishop c2 b5 maybe a5 b4 knight d5 rook e8 also i'm playing of course rook e8 e1 knight bd2 knight f1 g 3 bishop g5 queen d2 yeah so also interesting uh, game you, you know with all the pieces on the board only one pawn 
uh, was changed until now. So he played the move b bishop takes b3 instead of c4 that we saw until now. So bishop takes b3, a takes, and now also I think rook e8, maybe queen b6 was a better, um, you know what, maybe b5, I'm not sure. But he played the move c takes d4, and I think this was the first, you know, maybe mistake by black in this position because after knight takes d4 this pawn will be weak it will be isolated pawn and i have so much time you know like to develop my pieces and to to do a blockade here on d4 with bishop e3 knight d2 knight f3 i'm checking if this <laughs> microphone is working so yeah it's it should be white you know white is better from from this situation because the d pawn is weak he played with d5 and i'm starting to you know like um to develop my pieces and also um you know to to thrank the the d4 square with bishop is we knight d2 knight f3 maybe and this pawn is a weak pawn so queen d7 knight d2 is playing knight e7 and this was a very strange move by by my opponent i think because knight was was doing great here i thought like rook f8 maybe knight e4 something around it but knight e7 what do you want to play you do you want to play knight e5 okay i will play queen f3 so you move the knight from the center to e7 with i'm not sure about this and also to to block this file right uh, so yeah i'm not sure about 97 rook f8 rook f1 and now h6 of course bishop h6 is losing because of bishop takes queen f6 and bishop d2 so don't forget that the knight on d2 is under attack right so we play the move b4 and this move i think was a, a clever move by me also uh, with the point of maybe play knight 2 to b3 with c5 also maybe push b5 and you know this pawn on a7 will be weak uh, in the next future and you know also this b4 pawn everything is, is you know is under control you can see that all white pieces is under control only this pawn on b2 is not defended so it's really really beautiful in this position so he played the move a6 i think it's a good move because b5 was maybe the threat and now a6 is very logical and also rook will come to c8 maybe to d8 so yeah it seems quite good and now in this position i think i made a little mistake i played the move rook to e2 and uh, with the point to play rook a e1 and also now i'm threatening to play bishop h6 for example rook a oh sorry rook a d8 bishop takes h6 bishop takes queen f6 and now the rook is covering the knight on d2 so yeah it's good but unfortunately after rook e2 rooks just knight c6 is playing and i'm not sure what can i do because rook a1 is bad after knight e5 queen g3 knight d3 everything is under attack knight e4 knight h5 knight f4 so much things here yeah it's it's not seems good at all uh, but in this position i i, I forgot to, to say that just rook e1 because the rook is not doing nothing here right he finished his job let's bring it to d1 and also with the threat of bishop takes h6 so yeah rook e2 was not a clever move by me and he played the move 96 very strong and very fast he's doing uh, you know like also he played the move 97 he understands that the 97 is not doing great he's coming back to c6 knight takes c6 queen takes bishop d4 knight e4 he played also rook e2 makes sense queen takes um rook e8 but now you know what queen d3 and white is better because this isolated pawn will be isolated pawn until the end of the game and in the end game it will be not easy for black to uh, to defend this pawn so we played the move before you know instead of rook takes e2 he played the move knight to e4 also makes sense bishop takes g7 king takes g7 and now i played the move queen to d3 i wanted to bring the queen to d4 also maybe to bring the knight from f3 to d4 and also rook a1 because in this position for example rook a1 is just a bad move after knight takes d2 we're losing a knight after rook takes d2 just rook takes e1 and black is winning so i played the move queen d3 makes a lot of sense for me and he played the move rook a d8 now queen d4 check queen f6 and now i did a very very big mistake I played the move knight to f3. Don't forget, this is a rapid game. We have 15 minutes uh, and 5 seconds increment per move. But now, this, now knight f3 was, was really, really a, a big inaccuracy in this position. Because 
You know, when I played it, I really recognized immediately that, oh no, he has knight to, to g5. And I think that all my, my advantage just gone, right? So, for example, in this position, knight b3 was much stronger. Uh, you know, this pawn will be isolated pawn. I will play rook a1, f3, king f2, and somehow, you know, maybe, maybe uh, can win this pawn on d5. Uh, after maybe um, exchanging some pieces here. So I played the move knight f3 and now knight g5. And the point that after rook e8, he has knight f3 check, takes queen d4 also. And this position, of course, black is just better, I think. The pawn structure is just so bad. Oh, of course, you can see it's so bad, so bad. <laughs> the, the white uh, pawn structure is just, uh, just awful, right? And the black ones is just amazing. So yeah, rook e8 is not good. Uh, oh, in this position, also just rook e8. Makes a lot of sense for me. Black is just fine. So I played the move queen takes f6, king takes knight d4. I didn't want to rule uh, my pawn structure here, of course. Um, so yeah, I played the move knight d4, take, take, knight e6. Of course, black wants to push d4 and uh, to forget about this isolated pawn, but I'm not giving him rook d1, king e5, knight d4, takes, takes, rook c8. And in this position, you know, I had some dreams that maybe I will manage to win this position. After f4 check and king is coming to f2, you know, don't forget in end games, the most important thing that rook will be very active and also the king will be very active and yeah i'm coming with the king into the active um position so rook c4 maybe also was maybe interesting move i thought during the game that after this position f5 it's really important and interesting to to analyze this position because i think it need to be a draw because black has so much moves waste moves right b6 b5 h5 g5 king e6 king d6 while this pawn on b6 so it should be a draw i'm not sure 100 but this was my uh, conclusion during the game that rook c4 should be a draw after king e3 but he played the move king c6 and now i i remember what i learned all the years that i must activate my pieces and the rook on d4 was not so much activated until now so f5 this was a clever move i think because after g takes f5 rook h4 this pawn is under attack after rook h8 king h5 maybe a uh, rook h5 i'm oh, sorry the king will come here so yeah the pawns are not good here right they are weak so g f5 was a clever move king d6 takes takes and now rook f4 i'm coming into the game i want to play rook f6 or rook f7 and yeah it's not so easy for black he's playing king e6 and now king e3 is coming with the king to the active position. Rook c6, rook f8. The rook is very, you know, like disturbing the, the, the blacks. King and the rook. King e5 was played and my opponent is playing here, I think, with one minute on the clock. And he's playing very fast. He's also very strong uh, player in blitz and bullet. So, yeah, he's not afraid him from time travel, of course. So, rook f7, rook b6, rook h7. I'm attacking this pawn g5 rook e7 check coming back and rook d7 and now i forgot you know 100 i forgot about counterplay a5 brilliant move by you have milikau b takes rook takes b2 and in this position okay you know black should be fine at least rook b5 rook e7 check coming here my point was that after rook king g6 i will come to d7 takes takes and king will come to d4 and this pawn don't forget, he will be isolated and maybe I can manage to, to win him, right? So he didn't play it. He take with the, with the rook, uh, the pawn on a5, take on h6, king e5, and now rook g6. And now my opponent played a very interesting move. He played the move d4. The point that after king e5, just rook b6, and the point that the pawn is weak, king d4 will come. And it's not so easy for black. I'm not sure what can he play after rook e3, king d4 seems very good for me. So I don't know. 
what he can do. But he played the move D for check. Very, very strong move, I think, because he's playing active. C takes D4, King F5 with 10 seconds on the clock. My opponent is just playing amazing. King F5 threatening also this rook on G6, also rook A3. And I have some problems here. Rook B6, rook A3, some checks. And now rook H2. I, f I thought in the game that he will play rook E1, uh, King D2. And now I thought like rook A3. Um, I thought in this position, how can I play? I don't forget, I will forget it or not. No, I thought like rook a2, no, what can I thought? Rook a3, rook b5 check, king g6, g4 takes and rook b6. This was my point, but you know, it's, it's really difficult because I'm not sure at all. King f7 takes, king e6, rook b5, I don't know, maybe it should win, maybe not, I'm not sure, it's not so so simple, uh, but this was my plan of course, so rook h2 he played, I took the pawn, rook h3, king f2, and now he played with rook to h2, it was a mistake, and now I had only one move that is winning for white, you can stop the video, think by yourself, and also comment below, what do you think, what was the move, to win this game so i will tell you now that my uh, my move was king to e3 and was a bad move because now don't forget the most important thing in end games the active of the king and the rook and after king e3 the king the black king will come to g4 and he, he will be very active here he will want to to take this pawn and also to push the pawn so after king f3 just White is winning, g4, king e3, the king is not active, rook b5 check, the king will go away and white will be active after king f4 and the pawn will push, so yeah, I will win the game. King f3 was just a, a clever move, rook d2, just rook b5 check, king is going and king e4 and white is winning. So yeah, I forgot about it, I don't, I didn't have so much time to think about, but yeah, I, I didn't manage to win this game. So rook h5, d5, takes the g3 pawn. I thought that maybe my pawn will run very fast, but yeah, he's not, <laughs> yeah, he's not Ferrari. So g4, d6, rook h1, king f5, check, king e6, rook d1, d7, king h3, check, check. Uh, yeah, and rook h5, I wanted to play, of course, rook d7, but my opponent is strong international master and took the pawn on d7, king takes, and uh, promoting the queen, right? pushing the pawn to g3 and yeah this is totally draw so this game was draw and yeah congratulations for me that i did a draw against Yoav Milikau and yeah it was not an easy one to play very interesting also the end game and also i had only one option to win the game with king f3 uh, yeah chess game is very tough so thank you very much for watching if only if you like this video press the like button and also subscribe my channel it really really helped me and i will give you one hint to the next game i played against Ethan rosen very strong international master from kafar saba club wow it was very interesting and tough game he's one of the best players in the israel and now and i think he's also will be the next grand master in israel so don't don't forget it will be the next video round four don't go anywhere ladies and gentlemen bye bye thank you very much